Bionicle Halo Kanoka Evolved is a game released by LEGO in 2004. It is a loose adaptation of scenes from the book Trial by Fire, which, by the way, was an interesting read, but disappointingly did not have any scenes involving trials, especially ones where the judge or the legal teams were made of fire. Anyways, the first impressions from just starting up the game is that one, it's in 3D, which is a big change for LEGO games, but then again, it is Bionicle Halo, so that is kind of expected. And then two, that when they mean Kanoka Evolved, they really mean it. The first Kanoka discs were all arm swingy. You had to load them onto the McTorrin hand and pull them back and stuff. It, well, it's not like that anymore in this game. It's all squeezy with a launcher and the press of a button. Move aside, snowballs. Make way for the freeze discs. So the initial impressions sound very promising, right? 3D and Kanoka launchers, great stuff. But don't jump the 10 out of 10 gun just yet. Once you hop in the game, there are a lot of reasons why it doesn't live up to the hype. The first reason is its setting. The scenes it takes loosely from Trial by Fire are when Vakama is in Tometru as a Toa alongside the Morbuzak. The game has you running around on a platform shooting at the Morbuzak, which are a lesser known vine-like race of the Covenant, as it crawls up different support poles from many of the molten protodermis vats. And it seems they only exist because you exist. You stop the vats from falling so you don't get melted, and, well, the Morbuzak only destroy the vats so that you get melted. Just to emphasize how pointless this is, I've even brought in Heir of the Chronicler, who is a fellow mask maker of a commons and forger from Vol's Forge and Foundry, to weigh in on this issue. So, Heir, you work with Molten Protodermis all the time. How common is it in Tometru? That's easy to answer. Molten Protodermis is everywhere in Tometru. If you came here, you'd literally step in it. Okay, probably not, but I can find this stuff in my backyard. So in that case, do you think Vakama's endeavors to save the vats are useless then? Oh, absolutely. In fact, Vakama's attempt at gardening brings shame to the mask-making community with how pointless it is. Apparently, he never learned that you need to pull out a weed by the root, and this is definitely not the Great Furnace. Besides, all the Tomatoran have already been evacuated, so who's even using this stuff? You raise a fair point, Air. Thanks for reaffirming what I was saying all this time. Anytime. The second reason Bionicle Stop the Covenant doesn't live up to its hype is the controls. I mean, who on earth designed this garbage? What the... Okay, so you use the arrow keys to move, fairly standard, and then A and Z to look up and down. Whoever made this was begging to be killed by the fans. The worst part is, while the controls may look like this, when you actually play. Don't be fooled. They're actually supposed to look like this. It's so ridiculous. How do people even play this? The third reason Bionicle finished the Morbuzak is so anti-hype is because of the multiple color-related problems. The first color-related problem are the vines. There are three different types of vines, but the only one that I take issue with is the blue one. This one takes a freeze disc to get rid of. So I assume it's a vine of ice. Yeah, a vine of ice. Are you kidding me? An ice vine that comes out of lava? <sighs> you really thought this one through, Lego. Unless you invented some uh, condensation-resistant uh, heat divine vine when I wasn't paying attention. And then, uh, guess you're free to go. Anyways, uh, the other color-related problem I have are the two choices of discs. The standard or the blue and white freeze one. I think Vakama was equipped with way more than this. And even if he wasn't, this game has infinite discs. It should have room for other kinds. I mean, it would be real sweet if someone had added a teleportation disc to bounce a vine out of the game completely. <laughs> Something like that. In all, Halo Stop the Morbuzak is not worth your time. The controls are meant for three-handed aliens. The gameplay is broken, and Vakama's making a fool of himself since he's not really saving anything worth saving. In fact, I'd feel bad if someone played this game, or even worse, had to review it. Yeah, <laughs> I really feel bad for that loser.